Spiral Violet 1, Introducing the Photopsychic Effect, Consciousness Amplification, and Localized Cellular Time Reversal by Bruce Anderson, former PhD candidate at the University of New Mexico School of Medicine. The structure of the universe is like a time-anti-time -time spiral with occasional bridges that may be crossed. If we could perceive our lives accurately, we would see everything at once through the illusion of space-time. Albert Einstein The Vision in a medical laboratory at Indiana University in 1989, the author experienced a series of visions concerning a multidimensional unified field theory in physics and an associated water-based energy medicine technology since developed into the spiral violet one. The vision involved anomalous perception of past and future events since fulfilled, resulting in the quest for a scientific explanation. The vision incurred in response to working on a dark field microscope illuminating the author's own cells and DNA with UV light from a mercury vapor tube. Development of the subsequent device involved recreation of certain conditions and mechanisms that facilitated the original vision. Projecting UV light through a DNA surrogate, subsequently determined to be the aqueous vortex, to be explained. The author pursued the Ph.D. in medical science at the University of New Mexico School of Medicine in order to legitimize the vision and learn the skills to develop it, but found nothing in the literature or knowledge of professors and peers to explain the associated biophysics concepts. Upon being poisoned in his dissertation lab via mercury vapor intoxication, the author fell ill and withdrew from the Ph.D. program on a quest to heal himself from the unidentified illness in the manner of a wounded healer. The first healing experience with the spiral violet one restored the author from a crippling spinal arthritic disease and other symptoms of mercury intoxication as of 1994 through 1999 to completing a 24 mile ocean marathon upon self treatment in 1999. The second experience upon rebuilding the device regenerated the author's scarred heart tissue from Vioxx induced congestive heart failure. After three years on SSI disability, 10 weeks self-treatment was followed immediately by successful competition at the 2006 FINA World Championships in Masters Swimming and top 10 rankings of the United States Masters Swimming Nationals through 2009. See the photo storyboard series and swimming video at timeforrevolution.com. A presentation of hypotheses. While it may be argued this is but one anecdotal case, my recovery was from a pharmaceutically induced incurable disease in terms of traditional allopathic medical standards, and I have since filled in the blanks of the associated theoretical biophysics explaining my technology and self-directed recovery. Rather than presenting scientific proof of these mechanisms in the absence of the required funding and research, this presentation is therefore the statement of a set of hypotheses addressing some of the most significant and controversial associated scientific concepts of our time. As with the water science work of Jacques Benveniste and threats to my peers attempting to restore the previous suppressed biophysics cures for cancer, in the hostile and corrupt pharmaceutical milieu blocking the advancement of science and medicine, it is no longer feasible to publish such information in the peer-reviewed journals, such that direct introduction of these ideas on the internet may more effectively assist humanity in throwing off these negative corporate influences degrading our health and our lives globally. This presentation, introducing the definitive method of holographic memory storage in water, the brain, and the body, is therefore meant for those interested in the pursuit of truth in science and medicine, no matter where this leads, rather than the materialistic empiricists maintaining the outmoded pharmaceutical paradigm causing so much harm to global human health. From the author's vision came a multidimensional EM unified field theory. In the envisioned multidimensional light analog unified field theory, light leaps into multiple dimensions via holographic enfoldment into discrete new waveforms with new patterns of propagation in each dimensional frame of reference. Thus, in addition to ordinary 3D propagated light, you have 4D light, 5D light, 10D light, etc. This is a quantum relativistic theory. Each dimensional light analog propagation pattern behaves like a discrete quantum electron orbital, similar to the unique locked in quantum speed properties of light in Einstein's theory of relativity. The next higher dimensional light analog function functions as the unified field of the next lower dimensional reality from which it unfolds. The 4D light analog is the unified field of the 3D reality that we ordinarily experience. 5D light analog is the unified field of the 4th, 6D of the 5th, and so on. 
Information encoded into light or the higher dimensional light analogs is transferred interdimensionally along with the light and light analog conversions. Thus, new forms of communication beyond space and time become possible, along with projecting matter backwards through space time with medical treatment ramifications to be discussed. The graviton, or standing columnar wave, described by Tesla, Tom Bearden, and the Russian biophysicist, is compatible with the concept of the 4D light analog conceived in the author's vision. In contrast to light emitted in all directions from a point source in a 3D sphere wavefront, the graviton is propagated in a 4D sphere wavefront, all points on its path simultaneously and forwards and backwards through time. Thus, graviton propagation is superluminal, but only outside the traditional 3D plus time frame of reference. Analogous to the double helical sense antisense substructure of DNA with information encoded in opposite directions in space on the attached strands, the graviton possesses a photon antiphoton substructure with information encoded in opposite directions in time along the time forward photon and time reversed antiphoton strands. This co identity of light and gravity functions as a unified field. The photopsychic effect. Projecting encoded photons through stationary DNA and such rotating nonlinear media as spinning DNA, the aqueous microvortices within it, and macroscopic aqueous vortices, phase conjugates or attaches the time forward photon to its time reversed antiphoton wave pair, thus forming the graviton or torsion field. Since the graviton is also the hypothesized 4D propagated carrier wave of thought, explaining all the holographic anomalies of consciousness and brain function, the author has termed the photon graviton conversion the photopsychic effect. Mitogenic radiation. During cell and DNA replication, termed mitosis, and RNA transcription, termed meiosis, UV photons, termed mitogenic radiation, are emitted from spinning DNA and the aqueous vortices within it as this is converted from the graviton, torsion field, or aura of the organism via the bidirectional photopsychic effect. Mitogenic radiation biophotons are unfolded holographically from 4D to 3D from all points in space within the cells, thus forming a three-dimensional light wave grid pattern regulating the biochemistry and performing other functions to be discussed. Via the reverse process of mitogenic radiation, DNA receives the EM emissions of the biochemical reactions and structures in the cell in health and disease, thus storing this information in graviton form in the auric field permeating and emitted from the body. Therefore, biophoton emissions unfolding from the graviton field of the body are encoded with health and disease state information that may be utilized for diagnosis and treatment, as with the spiral violet one to be described. Homeopathic biophysics. In homeopathic medical preparations, EM signature emissions from the molecules in solution are projected through the aqueous microvortices formed by succussion or slamming of the solutions between dilutions. Alternatively, standard macrovortexing is utilized. Via the photopsychic effect within the rotating nonlinear aqueous vortices, the molecular EM signatures are converted to and stored in the stable graviton or torsion field form, thus explaining the molecular signal remaining when all molecules are diluted out of solution. Homeopathic biophysics continued, Saturating a sugar pill with such molecular EMG charged water transfers the molecular EM signature encoded graviton information to the sugar by some form of hypothesized graviton sugar resonance capture related to the analogous sugar backbone function of DNA. When the patient ingests the sugar pill, the EM signal is integrated into the body's graviton field or aura and re-emitted holographically 4D to 3D from all points in space within the cells via the photopsychic effect as DNA UV mitogenic radiation containing the original molecular EM signature, thus participating in the original molecular reactions. Alternative projection of the phase reversed molecular antiphoton signal enfolded into the graviton cancels out toxin disease state emissions. This phase conjugate mirroring is the explanation of the homeopathic principle what once wounded shall heal. In a phase conjugate mirror, the traditional time forward transverse EM wave is phase conjugated or attached to its mirror image time reversed antiphoton wave pair, which is amplified and travels back through the precise path from which it came. 
Therefore, when the EM source is encoded disease state information originating from the cells in the body via the DNA photopsychic effect conversions, the amplified time-reversed antiphoton signal is delivered back to the cells via DNA, where effects on the atomic nuclei push the molecules, cells, tissues, and organs backwards through their path of differentiation through space-time prior to damage or infection. The author has termed this process, described by Tom Bearden, localized cellular time reversal. The spiral violet one. The spiral violet one captures the biophoton signal emitted from the body in water via water memory in a large aqueous vortex, thus phase conjugating the phase and time forward photon disease state signal to the phase and time reversed antiphoton healing signal via the photopsychic effect. Functioning as a phase conjugate mirror, pulsed EM Rife technology frequencies are added to the vortex to amplify the signal and tune it for reception by the pineal gland mitogenic radiation control center in the brain. The resulting phase and time reverse graviton biophoton signal is amplified by a pyramidal housing and emitted back to the patient via the eyes, the pineal gland in the brain, and the DNA mitogenic radiation system in the cells. The time reverse biophoton signal emitted through DNA in the cells projects the molecular structure backwards through its path of differentiation through space-time prior to damage or infection, thus regenerating the cells, tissues, and organs, and healing disease via localized cellular time reversal. Since plasma tube gases emit phase conjugate EMG waves with the ability to time reverse or otherwise effectively treat disease, two of the previously suppressed biophysics cures for cancer utilized pulsed plasma tubes also utilized in the spiral violet one. In the 1930s, Roy Reif's plasma tube device demonstrated 100% cancer cure rates in human clinical trials. Reif's technology and research was destroyed by the FDA when he wouldn't sell out to the American Medical Association. In the 1960s, Antoine Perrier's massive spinning plasma tube technology cured cancer, heart disease, and infection, and restored healthy immune system function in laboratory animals, as evaluated in thousands of experiments by the French Academy of Sciences. Perrier's device was also suppressed when the associated biophysics theory didn't exist to explain the mechanism of localized cellular time reversal. Upon comprehending the mechanisms of the photopsychic effect in DNA in the aqueous vortex, the author now utilizes the projection of a rife bare pulse plasma EM tube through spinning water in order to improve the efficiency of communicating with biological systems for healing, enlightenment, and empowerment purposes. Various experimental and anecdotal observations in visual processing and memory indicate that rather than these functions correlating with specific neurons and synapses, they are spread out in the brain in a manner consistent with holographic processing and memory storage. Rats maintain the ability to remember mazes no matter what part of the brain is excised. Salamander brains may be entirely rearranged and they still remember, and human patients never seem to lose memories with parts of the brain removed. The memory only gets fuzzy, once again analogous to losing the resolution of a holographic image. The author proposes that such holographic memory storage is explained by the projection of the electromagnetic emissions of the synapses through the neuronal DNA, thus converting the 3D propagated EM wave pattern into the 4D propagated standing graviton form for memory storage via the photopsychic effect, a 4D space-time hologram. The holographic brain continued. Memory recall involves the comparison of real-time synaptic EM wave patterns with those enfolded in graviton storage. When a match is found, resonance with the stored graviton memory pattern results in the increased reverse direction unfoldment of the graviton to the original synaptic EM emissions via the DNA photopsychic effect. Unfoldment of the stored synaptic EM emissions pattern from the graviton realm potentiates the original neuronal firing for recall recognition purposes. This is compatible with the traditional explanation of long-term potentiation initiating memory, the molecular processes thus assuring sufficient graviton memory storage. Water memory and memory in the brain are thus both explained via the photopsychic effect with the graviton storage medium formed within the aqueous vortex and or DNA. The body holographic. With this new understanding of the key role of DNA in memory storage and non-local communication, the direct mind-body link has been established via the holographic photopsychic effect. Conscious and unconscious thought emitting synaptic EM wave patterns are thus converted into graviton form, permeating the body non-locally and may in turn be decoded back to UV mitogenic radiation biophotons in all the cells throughout the body, 
direct brain-body communication. Spiritual imagery of the double helical kundalini energy along the spine and the spinning chakras may also represent intuitive perception of the body's photon, antiphoton, graviton fields known to the ancients. Graviton immunology. Due to the photopsychic effect, all DNA-based organisms possess and emit graviton biophoton signals that are preeminent to the molecular processes and structures these EMG signals regulate and inform. The health of the organism is thus determined by the strength of the graviton field and the integrity and internal transmission of the EMG information. Pathogenic EMG signals emitted from toxins such as heavy metals and invading organisms such as viruses, bacteria, and fungi interfere with the whole signal in a holographic fashion permeating the body. For example, the number of virion particles present during infection is insufficient to otherwise explain virulent disease induction, while the telltale structure of the virion capsid housing the DNA above may amplify such energy analogous to the pyramidal housing of the Spirovite 1 amplifying the graviton signal emitted from the aqueous vortex. Graviton immunology continued. A two-pronged approach to health maintenance and treatment with the Spirovite 1 therefore involves graviton or consciousness amplification, the graviton pumping of the human aura or biofield, and localized cellular time reversal, projecting the molecules, cells, tissues, and organs backwards through the path of differentiation through space-time prior to damage or infection as discussed. The spiral violet 1 was originally developed for the treatment of AIDS and cancer, the ultimate goal being the uninsertion of the HIV virus from the host genome, an impossible task via traditional molecular biology methods. Seeking funding. In order to prove out these hypotheses, mechanisms, and treatment protocols, funding is being sought for this research in the hostile pharmaceutical milieu currently blocking the advancement of science and medicine. Funding for a documentary and or a dramatic theatrical release of The Voice of Water, A Wounded Healer's Journey, is also being sought. See the photo storyboard series at timeforrevolution.com. Milestones. DNA is a phase conjugated double helical spiral molecule with cross bridges and sense and antisense strands in forming the assembly of proteins, Watson and Crick. The graviton, scalar potential, standing columnar wave, or torsion field comprising the vacuum substructure of the universe is a phase conjugated photon antiphoton wave pair propagated in 4D, all points on its path simultaneously and forwards and backwards through time. Tom Bearden, derived from Russian research. DNA bidirectionally converts light or photons into the graviton or torsion field, thus functioning as a graviton receiver and transmitter. Since the graviton is the hypothesized 4D propagated carrier wave of consciousness, the photon-graviton conversion also taking place within the aqueous vortex will be termed the photopsychic effect. 